We're just gonna march it out. A little march. Circle from the body. Just feel the arms, feel the feet, feel your energy. Feel that music. Turn it up a little bit for us. Just starting to open the heart. So we're gonna bring the arms out. Out and in. Out and in. Open the heart. I want everyone to imagine within their heart there's this light. There's like this little vessel inside the heart that's full of your compassion, of your joy, of your kindness, of your energy. And you're just going to crack open that little vessel that's in your heart and let that light shine out. Just let it shine. You see that smile on your face because your smile changes everything. Open it up. Now bring the feet out a little bit. I'm going to fan the heart. It's going to fan that flame that's deep in your heart. Just fan the light. Let it burn brighter and brighter and brighter. And I want you to see within your mind's eye that light within you that lights you up from the inside out. It's there. Sometimes we forget about it. Sometimes we don't remember it. Now is the time to let it shine, to remember, to remind yourself that you are light. You are happy. You have joy. You are joy. Now let's press it out right here in the heart. Press it out. Press it out. Because we're here to serve. We're here to grow. We're here to give. When we give that light, it's like when we have a full cup, it overflows and it pours out to everybody around us. And that's what we're doing is we're letting that light shine because if we have that gift in us, we're meant to share it. We're meant to let it shine all around to everyone we see, everyone we meet. And two, and now fan the heart one more time. Fan the heart, fan the heart. And just repeat after me. I am a messenger of love. 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 Press it out. Press. I'm here to grow and give. I'm here to give. I'm here to what? Grow. I'm here to grow and give. 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 Good. Inhale all the way up. Big inhale, big smile. Exhale, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Give yourself a hand. Great job. Yay. Woo. Oh. I think we're ready. Oh, Lord. Doug, that was so much fun. And I'm like, I'm sweating already. It's such a fun workout. Good. I'm glad you like it. It's I do. I do. My state. So I, it's like a gift I want to share because I know how much it has helped me. Yeah. Yeah, oh my God, thank you for that. Hello everyone. It's my Mental Health Matters again. And if you're watching right now, you're in the right place at this time. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon where I am. Good day to you wherever you are. And I have a special guest in the house today. I, I'm sure you can feel the vibes, the energy. You can feel the, the mood, your mood boosting already. I have no other person but Don in the house. And, you know, I met Don in another group of exceptional leaders. And she had this um, she, this little session we had. And I was like, that is so much fun for someone like me who doesn't like the typical yoga, staying quiet thing because I'm kind of like all over the place. I'm like, I can do this. And she's here with us. She's a group member. She's here to take us through what intensity is about. Welcome. Welcome, Don. Thank you. Thank you. So glad to be here. So glad to know you. I'm excited about this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so please tell us what all this is about. Yeah. It's new to me, just like when I heard about laughter yoga. I think it's you know amazing. But this, to me, resonates so well because there's music, there's energy, there's the movement. Tell us more about Intensati. Yes, yes. So intensati comes from two words. So the word inten over here comes from the word intention. So we have to be intentional about what we do. Sati is Sanskrit for mindfulness. Mm. So mindful intention, being really aware, being really present. 
so that we are consciously living our life, like really awake. So there's the statistic that 95% of what we think we can do comes from our subconscious mind. Right. It means we're unconscious most of our life, most of our day. And that, when I read that, it blew me away. I'm like, wow. And then if we take a look at what, why so many people are unhappy and so many things are frustrating for us and we like, wait a minute, if I tune in just a little bit, if I, can, if I take responsibility, just look over here for a moment and just see possibility. What can I do differently that might impact my life differently and be more consciously awake in my life? Then, wow, what a change I can make. And so that's, that's really the foundation of why I do what I do, why I'm a therapist, why I'm a coach, what drew me to Intensati, because it's a practice about what you think, how you feel, and what you do, right? Mental health. Mental health. It's more than our words. It's, it's more than our emotions. It's more than our actions. It's all of it together. It's all of it together. Right. And when I found this practice, it's kind of funny because when I went into yoga, I wanted to go into yoga because I needed to calm my mind, I chaotic mind, and I know I'm not alone, but when I don't nurture my mind, it runs away with me. So similar to if I don't nurture my body and work my body, it gets soft and tired and achy. Same thing with the mind. But the mind, we neglect, and it seems to want to go like this, at least for me. Yeah. And so I went into yoga because I wanted to calm the mind down. Okay. And then I discovered <laughs> there's a yoga practice called Ashtanga, which I won't go too much into that right now, but it's actually a sequence of moves and you move, it's faster. And I thought, oh, so I can even do yoga fast. <laughs> yeah. But what I was finding is that even if I'm moving, you know, it's different than sitting and doing meditation, which I also do, but I can also find that peace of mind when I'm moving the body and using positive words. And, and we start to feel our state change. We elevate, elevate our energy, right? So joy, happiness, love is way up here on this energy. So if we have a scale of energy and a level of frequency, right. sadness, depression is down here. It's very low, it's very heavy. So if we use our words, change our words, how we think, how we express ourselves, we fuel these, this emotional state, we change how we feel. And so I found that in Intensati, I can move my body, I can use words, and I walk out like I'm on cloud nine, like, wow, sort of invincible. I'm empowered like to choose my thoughts and choose how I wanna feel. Right. It might sound easy. Yes, I'm, you know, I have clients that will say to me, wow, Don, it sounds easy, but it's not easy to do. I said, well, no, it's, it's challenge, but do we like to brush our teeth every day? <laughs> But we do it because we know it's good for us, right? So it's how yeah. we fuel ourselves. How do we add these habits in that help to really create the life that we really want to live and right. not on automatic? Not just breathing through the day. Right. So which one do you say, would, would you say should come first? Is it your thoughts? Because as we were moving, you were saying some things, you know, do you, do you think about how you want to feel and put it in words, then you start saying it and it goes to your subconscious? Or do you have to, you know, put so much thinking uh, into coming up? Which one comes first, the third or just, you know, just do it? Right. So so I think we have to consciously create, choose our thoughts, right? If we're not actively choosing our thoughts, okay, I'll speak for myself. These thoughts, I'm so tired. There's so much to do. I I'm going to get it done, da, 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 right? It just goes. So I have to consciously say, no, stop. What do I, how do I want to feel? No, I can do this. I'm strong enough. I am organized. My schedule is just like it needs to be. I have enough time. I have all the time I need. So we have to shift the thoughts. And that was that one, that one affirmation I found I created a long time ago was I have all the time I need. When I would say that to myself, I would be like, oh, I can breathe. Because as a mom, we know as a mom and an entrepreneur and a lover of life, but there's all these things we want to do, right? Many things. So many things. And then all of a sudden it feels like oh, there's not enough time. But if I if we stop and choose something, like for me, I have all the time I need was an affirmation that really worked for me. If we just pause, we're like, oh, 
there's room to breathe. And I want most to be able to be present in everything I do, especially with my kids and my family. And so when I was able to do that, I can exp it's like time expanded because I was able to show up differently and go, oh. So the thoughts, thing, our, our, thoughts are fed, our thoughts feed our emotions. So I love the one quote someone said, and I don't really know who said this, all things are created twice. So if we take a look, it's pretty cool, right? All things are created twice. If, so let me dissect that a little bit. Uh, and so um, my water bottle, somebody had a vision of this in their mind before they created it. Airplanes, someone thought of an airplane before it was flying in the sky. Phone, all of this came from a thought first. That is true. That's, you know, and so knowing that like, if there's this possibility that my thoughts are creating my reality, mm -hmm. can I change it? Right. When I shift it. Right. Huh. And that's what we have to take ownership of. And I'll, I'll share a little story because I know there's people out there watching that are like, Dawn, I've been depressed forever. Dawn, my parents were depressed. Dawn, I grew up with parents locking themselves in their room because they were so anxious they wouldn't take me out to the park. How do I change that? I understand the depth of <sighs> stuckness that we can feel. Mm -hmm. So what I offered to one of my client who felt that at one point, I said to her, I said, I want you to try one thing. When you wake up in the morning before your feet hit the ground, before but the minute you catch yourself saying, this is going to be another depressing day, what's going to go wrong today? Because that would be the norm for her. I said, before that happens, or when you catch that, stop it and go, I'm going to look for something happy today. I choose to feel joy today. I want to feel the sun on my face today. I'm going to smile at a stranger today. When she came back to my office a week later, she I was so happy because I wasn't sure what would work. I understand the depth of our pain that sometimes we were there, it's stuck. I do believe we can get out of it, but it takes work. When she came back to my office and she was smiling and said, Dawn, it worked. I was able to really decide to say, I choose to feel happy today. And then in my day, I found things to be happy for and about. It's right. like, imagine that if we give more attention there, maybe that sense of anxiety and depression and low mood will sort of just stay, stay over there. It won't consume us. Yeah, there, there, there are too many depressing stuff around. There are too many things stressing us. Whether we say it or not, even as a professional, even as a mental health expert, even as even you or what you do dealing with clients, and I can tell you that, I mean, I spoke with a number of people just between two, the past two days, I'm just calling, checking on people, and a lot of people are stressed. Mm -hmm. Now, using this, first of all, how much do I need to know? How much do people need to know to be able to do it? Is there a kind of music they need to, you know, we need to infuse into this? Do you need an instructor every time? And can this simply, well, I think from your explanation of being thoughtful and choosing positivity, you know, over negativity and just being intentional about how we, what we want, I believe that is fine. But in using intensity, it's pretty new, right? It's a revolutional new stuff just coming up. How much of other people do we need to be able to use this? Yeah. So... So let me say this. So Intensati is was created by a woman named Patricia Moreno out of out of New York City. Right. And it was back in 2007 that I discovered her video on DVD and I grabbed it up and I did it at home. You know, I just had the video. So I would do it all by myself with the video. It wasn't until 2016 I decided to go to New York for training to be a leader, to be able to teach this. So with that said, um, you can you can take this this block that we're going to do in a minute. We're going. You can take this, record it, watch it over and over and over. Get it, you know, into memory and do it every morning if you want, mm -hmm. all on your own. Um, I've also often sent recordings to my clients here. Take these four words. I'll explain these four moves. Use it. I have some on my YouTube channel where people can catch on. There are leaders and Tempati leaders around. Um, there's. I know there's one in Australia. There's one in Italy, so they're all over, but it's a small community that I believe really needs to just explode all over. 
can I be a teacher? Yes, you can. <laughs> and due to due to COVID and um, Patricia is now lead, so she's the only leader that like she's the creator, so she does all the leader trainings. She's now in LA, and so she's doing all the trainings virtual. So you can really be anywhere and be learn to be a leader. So there's um, let me just so touch on this. Like so, yes, you can do it on your own in your living room. You, you know, we, I have the affirmations. I have the moves. I can pass those along. You can make, make it up yourself. The music we're given is at least at like a, one, if you know music, I had to learn music. I was not a music person. Um, 134 beats per minute. If you look up under on iTunes, uh, dance music, 134 beats, BPM, beats per minute, you're gonna get music and you're gonna just like feel it, right? You just feel the beat and then you start to move your body. So can it's- Can we do cool. another one? That, what, pardon me? I said, can we do another another block? Oh yes, we're gonna do another block for sure. Yeah, okay. we'll do it, we'll add the words, we'll and move, and then you have this. And you don't necessarily have to know how it works. Like there's a thing, a saying in the Bob Proctor coaching program that I'm in, he talks about being an unconscious competent where you bring success into your life. Like, oh, I don't, I'm not depressed anymore. I have no idea what I did, but I'm doing these things. You don't have to all necessarily understand it, but you can create the change without really understanding how you're creating change. But if you want to learn how to create change, you can. There's me, there's you that people can talk to. There's there's ways to discover and learn how the brain and the body are connected. You have to learn it to create change. You don't have to. I, I love it. It's a passion of mine. So I'm studying all the time. So yeah. So shall so we get out do it on your own? You just need to find, a, you know, be intentional about it. Look for it, you know, mm -hmm. music and just do it. Right. And we, we have this video too that, you know, anybody can come to download it, follow the steps that mm -hmm. we did when we started. We, we did some cool moves in case you're just joining. We did some cool moves, moves when we started and we're going to do another one soon. So when you're ready, I'm ready because I'm just ready. <laughs> okay. do it. So we're going to stand up. I'm going to play the music. We're going to move some more. And then I'll just say this music. The next one I'm playing is um, it's from Rusted Root. So it's not my music. It's called Drum Trip. So it's a it's a song. It's not the mix from iTunes. Okay. Um, but this is this one I love because it has such a beat. So you tell me if this if I should go lower or down or it's good. Perfect. Good. All right, here we go. So the first move we're gonna do is just march, march in place. Just get your body moving. Start to feel the body. You're gonna bring the feet out a little bit. Hands come up right here, and we're gonna just drum. So we're gonna go nice and slow at first. Just start to feel the rhythm. Can you hear me? Can you increase it a little bit? For music? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Good music. There we go. Now just speed it up. So we're just gonna drum it out. So we're just drumming. Drum it out. This move is called playing full out, and we're just drumming. We're gonna add affirmations to each of our moves. We got four moves, four affirmations, and you're just gonna repeat after me. I give myself permission. 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 Let's just drum it out. Really feel that, like you're drumming to the beat of your heart. You play by your music. Fill yourself up. Now, new move right here, uplift. So it's like we're fluffing up our aura, we're lifting up our energy. You can feel your feet move, you can shake your hips, just feel good, uplift. Repeat after me. To feel great today. 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 Let's open your arms up. Up. Up, down, down. Now I want you to remember the body has to follow the mind. You're just giving it the command. Up, up, down, down. Speed it up. Up, up, down, down. Up. And shake those hips. Smile. Up, up, down, down. My mental health matters. 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 Good, clap it out. 
Celebration of the soul. So we're celebrating. We're clapping. We're going to take it up. Up. Back to center. Now behind. Back to center. Pick it up. Back to center. Now two, 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 two. So up, front, back, front. Up, front, back, front. See how the mind doesn't work, right? But it can do it. It can learn anything new. Now we're going to take it to the singles. Up, front, back, front. Up, front, back, front. Scoot it up. Up, front, back, front. I choose to celebrate. 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 Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. How about we put all those four together? Okay. And remember, have fun, do your best. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. You're just moving your body. Okay. Start with playing full out. Let's play. We're going to go through the round of moves. We'll go back to the music. That one. We're going to drum it out. It's eight counts. Here, I'm going to start the count here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Up, lift. Up. Now rise. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Down, down. Play, pull out. Up, lift. Rise, up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Clap. Let's get our words. I give myself permission. I give myself permission. To feel great today. To feel great today. My, my men mental health men matters. matters. My mental health matters. I choose to celebrate. I choose to celebrate. I give myself permission. I give myself permission. To feel great today. To feel great today. My mental health matters. My mental health matters. I choose to celebrate. I choose to celebrate. One more time. Okay. I give myself permission. I give myself permission. To feel great today. To feel great today. My mental health matters. My mental health matters. I choose to celebrate. I choose to celebrate. Good. Shake it out. Shake it, Shake out. it out. Woo! Inhale. Big breath up. Exhale. Shake, 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 shake. One more time. Big breath up. Oh, exhale. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Woo. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That, that is cool. Let me give you a lovely cup. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That that is really nice. I you know I enjoy music and. If I can put music, if I can have music infused into anything, mental health or even studying, mm -hmm. it worked for me. So this is really, really good. So this is a combination of positive affirmation, movement, mm -hmm. and just the uh, intentional, intentional joyfulness, right? Because you have to be doing this and, and frown. Mm -hmm. right? And then when you see, if you have to be combined with positive affirmation, I think that works. Um, can people come up with their own routine? Sure. You can do whatever you want. You can, yes. And you can use pieces. Like you can use, you know, like for example, I have a client who runs, right? She runs. And I, I was, we're working with depression and anxiety. And I, so what do you listen to? Well, I'm listening to this song or this song, very sad songs, right? Sad, I'm like, okay, here's the music you're gonna put on. And we've done intense Ati before, and she says, I really like to run, Don, I'm gonna run. I said, okay, but I want you to add the music in that's gonna uplift you. Intentional joy, intentional what you just said, like intent. If you're gonna run, great, but what are you feeding your mind? What are you feeding your mind? That's a piece of it that has to be noticed and and cho chosen because if we're out running but we're like why am i upset why am i angry i have to fix this 
we're not gonna feel good. We're gonna feel worse. Yeah. And so how you, like, I, again, I have affirmations. I have the series I can give to clients. Of course, I'll share. Any of your listeners can say, I want to block. I want this on recording, video or audio. I'm happy to send it out. If you want to make your own moves, you just want to dance and use your own affirmations, go for it. Right? Yeah. Go for it. It will change your state. That's what we're going for is just changing the state so we feel how we say we want to feel. And we have the ability to, to make that change. We're not victims in our life. We can take action. We can just it's like opening the little door of possibility, right? Just if I can see possibility, even just a little bit in the midst of the chaos, that's a light to keep right. moving towards. Right, right. Oh, I like that. And I like the one you created for us. I requested one for my mental health matters. And isn't that cool? My, uh, what is it? My mental health matters. Mental health matters. Mental health matters. Okay, so this is just a cool one that everybody in this group should know that. My my mental health matters. My mental health matters. This is so cool. And then you can do any other thing with it. Yes. That is cool. Oh, wow. Thank you, Dawn. This is, this is really nice. So, um, just uh, looking at it, I know that you you know you do trainings and you work with a lot of people. Uh, this group, as you know, is about increasing mental health awareness and decreasing the stigma. I just want you to, if you can, just speak briefly to how we can help people around us support their mental health. You know, maybe in this in context of what you do, being intentional. I thought it was intense, intense intensivity or something like that but it's intentional which is really good how can we as we are you know maybe not as experts but how can people in the group support other people's mental health and what you know stigma do you think we can i mean i think this is a cool way of of, of taking care of our mental health mm -hmm. you know without people being in our business or in a fun way but yeah. just Tell us something about awareness and stigma. Awareness is key. I think awareness is key because, okay, so when I, and I think this is going away, but I think maybe it still plays out. But back when, when you would go see a psychologist or psychiatrist, people would say, you're going to see a shrink, right? A shrink. And I would hear that and it would never sit right for me. I'm like, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. And so for me, I decided, you know what? I'm not, because people would say that to me. Oh, you're a shrink. I said, no, I'm not far from it. I'm not a shrink. I'm like, you know what I am? I'm a growth. I am. I help people grow. I help people learn. I help people expand their awareness to see differently. And I think that's the number one key is if you're in a spot that you're not happy with, you hear something you don't agree with, question it. Question it. Do I have to agree with it? Does this fit for me? No. If not, look for something different. Look for other resources. Look for... We don't know what we don't know. So I'm a lifelong learner. I believe in like, we never stop learning. We don't, I mean, we're always growing. We're always evolving. The brain won't stop. It, it has room for everything. We take breaks and we go play and have vacation, but we continue to learn and expand the mind and create new neural pathways of how we want our life to be because we're going through every day with collecting garbage, right? From way back when we were kids and we didn't have a choice on what was taught to us. And now as adults, we have to, we have choice. And we have to remember that choice is huge. I have a choice. Do I want to be in this conversation or should I walk away? Do I want to take this phone call or should I let it go to voicemail? I have a choice. What do I want to believe? How do I want to feel? And if we come from that place of the heart, like if I'm in a place of joy and love, what would I do right now? If I'm in a place, I like to use this. I know you asked the question, so I'm giving a big answer, but if we were to even take it down smaller to like, if I'm in love or fear, out of fear creates more fear. So if I have to make a decision about family, work, health, in a place of fear, it clouds us. Okay, if I can step out of this and go, if I'm in love, love is the compassion, joy, um, kindness, empathy. If I can make a decision from here, it's like it lifts a veil. Different answers, different uh, opportunities, answers, um, resources show up. So if we're willing to just even that, say, okay, if I'm in fear, I'm in 
possibly unforgiveness, resentment, anger. That's not going to help me or anybody. Can I step over here for just a minute? See How can I respond and, and make a decision from this place? I think that's a really good step to take towards really seeing things differently. Nice. Nice. I agree with you totally. And can you all tell that John is a is a psychologist, I mean is a psychotherapist? Can you tell yet? Yes, she is. <laughs> she is. So this is she is a, a, a an excellent resource we have in the group. She has her own group, which we're gonna put up on this video if you want to join. She does this weekly, you know, blocks of our uh, intensity um, mm -hmm. movement every week so you can join you can ask her questions you can send her a message from here and she'll be glad to help you so i mean we have I, I, she's here today so that we know that you know even though we talk about a lot of psychiatric disorders we talk about mental illness we we infuse it with mental health i believe that you know it's not everyone who has gotten a diagnosis we are all here for something. And, you know, it is one thing to take care of mental illness and get treated. It is for mental health. It is everybody who needs that. So I brought her here so that she will give us this tool to boost our moods and for our mental health. And we'll be doing this from time to time. So I'll be having her come in maybe, you know, Saturday, maybe once every month to give us a block. We'll do something uh, the following week, we might have laughter yoga. The next week, we might have yoga. You know, we might have the the the, the traditional yoga, and just start putting mental health, something positive, into what we'll be doing here. So, mm -hmm. as we're supporting people with the mental illness and psychiatric disorders, we also need to get tools to help our mental health, yes. so that we can be uh, as productive as possible. Yeah. So you have last words for us? Yeah. Well, one of my favorite um, things about one of my teachers, and it's her name's Chris Carr, Crazy Sexy Cancer. She's been one of my mentors through that journey. And she talks about adding in, right? Adding in. What can we add in? Because we sometimes look at this like, I got to stop being depressed or I have to get rid of anxiety. Well, the focus is still on anxiety. And, you know, I have my own story with that. So I can, we'll share another time. But we get so focused on it. We don't realize we're still focused on the anxiety. And over here, we have to shift to what you're saying is let's add in. Let's add in some yoga. Let's in, add in some laughter. Let's add in some movement. And we change the focus. And then as we're filling ourselves up with the good stuff, the stuff that doesn't fit anymore, it falls away. So right. that's really important. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. And you've, you've agreed to be coming here and pop in once a month to help us do some blocks. Love to, I love it. Yeah, it really helps me for sure. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so to everyone out there, uh, please say thank you to Dawn for her time. Thank you for you know sharing what she knows with us and lifting our moods. I, I feel energized. Uh, I feel light. I feel very happy. I feel blessed, you know, and I'm giving my, myself permission for positive stuff. I want you to do the same and help everyone, support everyone around you as well. So, Dawn, till we see you uh, next month or when you will be coming for another vlog, we, we really thank you. I appreciate your time and we look forward to, to, uh, to having you here again. Wonderful. I appreciate you and your community so much. <laughs> thank you. All right, everyone out there, please say thank you. Show Dawn some love, okay? It's that time, my expertise, and we really appreciate it. So I'll see you all next week. And guess what? Next week, we're starting on the men series. Hey, wait, is this for men as well, Dawn? Oh, everybody. Okay, please, man, it is for everybody, okay? Men, women, children, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is for everybody. So please, man, uh, get into this and just uh, get all the benefits that comes with it. Okay, all right. We'll see you all. I'll see you next week. Before that time, remember, my mental health matters. What about yours? Bye.